In today's episode, the campers slide into an adventure at the center of a glacier. Along the way, we learn all about the sun. Cat fact, the sun is a star. Hey, oh. The connection between science and exploration. My job as an explorer is to see things through a scientific lens to make sure we understand the way the world is changing. What's causing climate change and how we can help. Joining them are Kelly Corrick and Kimberly Miner. Can the campers stop the camp from flooding? Stay tuned to find out. If I pass you the ball, then what do you do? Uh, pass it to you. Bruh, no, don't pass it back to me. Um, pass it to Kiara? No, I'm the goalie. I don't think I can pass it to anyone. Yes, you can, we've been practicing. Not unless we're playing water polo. What? Oh no! We were so gonna kick Blue Cabin's butt. Where is all of this water coming from? And was it up to our feet just a second ago? Definitely not. At this rate, the camp is going to be underwater by tomorrow. Maybe we can get a view from up there. Of course! Look, Look out point. point! I don't say this enough, Malachi, but you're a genius. Thank you. I don't think you've ever said that. Come on, guys. Let's go. Wow. The edge of the forest kind of looks like a boy. Yeah, I'm taking you back calling you a genius. Come on now. Come on, guys. We have to focus. Look! I think the water is coming from over by that large ice cube. Let's go. Well, why is it so icy on the ground? Kiara, are you okay? It's so it's cool so down cool here. here. You guys gotta you come, guys down. come down. I mean, you don't gotta ask me twice. Wee! Wee! Okay, let's go. That was dope, let's go again. Shh, Malachi, look. Whoa. I think we're inside the glacier now. Why is it flooding our soccer field? I think we need to get Kitty to help us with some more information. It's so darn hot in here. Hey, Kitty. Whoa. Are you in the glacier? Yeah. Connecting you with my favorite outdoor adventure pals. Hi, my name is Dr. Kelly Corrick and I'm an astrophysicist. As a solar astrophysicist, I study the sun and her tantrums. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Kimberly Miner. I'm a climate scientist. I consider myself an explorer first and a scientist second because my job is to go out into the world and see what's going on, where it's going on, and what that means for all the humans, animals, and plants that live in the area. So a glacier is actually a bunch of snow that's piled on top of itself over and over and over for thousands of years. And it ends up condensing and becoming ice. So you've got really dense ice at the bottom from all the weight of the snow, and then nice fluffy snow on top. So you can think about glaciers kind of like ice cubes in your freezer. If you take them out and put them on the counter, they're eventually gonna melt. Unfortunately, the same thing is happening all over the world where the temperatures around the glacier in the atmosphere are getting warmer and warmer, which means that the snow and the ice are starting to melt and sometimes faster than we thought they even would. So the sun isn't shining any brighter on the glaciers. That means that something in the atmosphere and something closer to it is causing the temperatures to become warmer, um, such as greenhouse gases, and that's causing it to melt. We can protect the earth from global warming every day by making sure to recycle and reuse things. Thinking about whether we could use a bike or take a walk instead of using a car. Little things that cut down on uh, carbon emission and how much we use on Earth and make sure that there are resources left to share with everyone else in future generations. Well, what are you gonna do? 
Maybe we can build some type of barricade or something to stop the water from getting into our field. I do remember seeing a lot of twigs and mud, so maybe we can lay the twigs out and then put mud over it to keep them together. And maybe reinforce it with some more wooden material? I know the perfect engineers to help you out. Engineering Montage. Engineering. Great, Great work, team. team. Look, no more flooded field. And when we get back to camp, I'm gonna talk to our cabin about reducing our carbon footprint. And you know, I'm gonna talk to Blue Cabin about working on their footwork. Game's totally back on. I have always loved exploring the outdoors. When I was a little kid, it was hard for my parents to get me to come inside. So I was looking for a career that allowed me to explore the outdoors and also protect the wild spaces that we have on this planet. And I'm able to do both as a climate scientist. I was first inspired in STEM by the natural world around us. Um, going camping, being outside, um, seeing the stars at night all interest me and got me started in STEM. Awesome job today, Kiara, Malachi, and Gia. Great work, team. Ah, I love the smell of fresh O2 in the morning and a little bit of catnip. I'm so proud of you.